Well, do you think, to bring you the million dollar question, do you think there will be a re-election? Now we're down to two. We've got Joe Biden and <laughs> Trump. Uh, <laughs> probably both going to be the oldest presidents that we have ever had. What are the uh, what are the chances that you think? Well, I had predicted, um, uh, let's say, uh, two years ago was when mm-hmm. I first predicted that Kamala Harris <laughs> would be the nominee. Uh, mm-hmm. And I've always predicted that Trump will win re-election um, probably easily. Uh, but so then I thought I'm wrong. Oh, I'm wrong. It looks like she dropped out of the race and it looks like it's going to be Biden. But if Biden picks Kamala Harris as his vice president, uh, there is a general feeling, even among Democrats, if, if we're being honest, even the Democrats are saying, I don't know if Joe's young enough and capable enough. So I think people are going to look at the vice president as maybe the who would be the president three months after election or even maybe before Election Day. It, it wouldn't surprise me if you saw the Democrats decide to flip the ticket, you know, two weeks before election. I, I could imagine that happening. Or even not flipping it and just saying, okay, but just understand that Kamala is going to be the president if you vote for Joe. So um, if he picks her, I think she is the de facto president. So my prediction at least would be um, generally right, although not technically right. And I don't see any way he can lose to anybody who's being discussed. Now, you, you can make a case that if more, you know, uh, if uh, Andrew Cuomo suddenly entered the race, he, he would have a good shot, actually, you know, especially after this stuff. Yeah. But I don't see it happening because um, Cuomo strikes me as too ethical to abandon his city in an emergency to campaign for president. It would be suicide, I think. But I, I, my sense of him is that he has an actual public um, – a, a public – interest that's beyond his personal political interest. I could be wrong. You know, I'm just I'm giving you my subjective judgment of his personality. And of course, I can't read his mind. But if I had to guess, I think he's too good of a person to run for president because it would put his state at a disadvantage. But do you, don't you think that it wouldn't be, I mean, sure, I'm sure it's personal, but it's it's still remaining loyal to what he is because he would just say that he's trying to be loyal for the country because Trump is doing this and this. So yeah. in, in that sense, New York is also going to benefit from that because he'll be in charge of the whole country. You yeah. Know, you know, will, yeah. No, he, he could make the argument, but the fact is that you can't be a governor during an emergency and also campaigning for president. You know, the, nobody would imagine that you could have your energy, you know, that you could split your energy so grossly. I mean, you even look at the senators who run for president they basically abandon their job. Mm-hmm. It's sort of the only way you can do it. And given that Trump has such a dominating, you know, public, uh, you know, podium that he's always in the news, they would have to campaign pretty hard. There's yeah. no way that he wouldn't be able to put serious effort into it. And uh, imagine, imagine if he said, "Okay, I'll run for president, but I'm not even going to campaign. I'll just, you know, do my New York State thing here. If you want to vote for me, go ahead." I don't know. Would people feel like he was serious? And, and suppose he lost, would people say, you know, you should have let somebody run who was going to campaign? Right. So I don't, I don't think he has like a clean, comfortable way to get there. And, you know, Biden's probably not going to go easily. You know, uh, I don't know who talks to him about these things, but I'm sure he doesn't want to go in some embarrassing way. So yeah. I, don't see, I don't see anybody replacing him at this point. But the vice presidential pick is the wild card. Yeah, the, I've, I've, I actually haven't heard that theory. It's, it, it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, so you think that Joe Biden, if he wins, he will find, because he, he did announce that he'll find a female VP, you think that person within that same term, if he wins, will make that vice president the president? Uh, I think that uh, Joe's advisors in general, you know, his cabinet, his vice president, and anybody close to him, will have an unusually large influence on the presidency because Biden himself is sort of a, a weak personality. Um, so, and the vice president just being close will probably have maybe potentially depending on the personality. If yeah. it were 
Kamala Harris, she has a personal relationship with him. Um, not everybody knows, but she was very close with his son, who is deceased. So she actually had a long-term family kind of connection with Biden. So one could easily see that they would have a close relationship. One could easily see that the Democratic leaders would channel their preferences through Kamala Harris because she's sort of tied into the, you know, the the Democratic leadership. Um, so whether or not she actually took the job and became the leader in name, I don't know if that even matters because I think she would be the, at least the channel for which the Democratic um, leadership's opinions would be funneled into the presidency. Doesn't that kind of defeat this whole idea of having a voting system if the nation decided not to vote for a person like Kamala, but in the end she becomes, if she was to, if this was to happen, but she becomes a president anyways, wouldn't, wouldn't people actually be fu infuriated because she went through the exact same system, was not voted, lost by a heavy mile compared to some of these big candidates, but she would still become president? That would infuriate people. Well, the people who were, let's say, the campaign managers for candidates who didn't get that far will be really, really mad. But the one thing you can depend on is that the Democrats will back the Democrats and the Republicans will back the Republicans. So no matter how a hypothetical Kamala Harris accidental presidency would be, all the Republicans would dislike her, but would have anyway. doesn't matter who the president is. All the Democrats will say, well, that's maybe not the way we wanted to do it, but she's pretty good, and, yeah. and, they'll, and they'll back her.